How is our universe organized? What does it consist of? Some believe that there are no definite answers to these questions. But this isn't true. The first mention of an inexhaustible source of free energy, omnipresent, all-pervading, in the foundation of the material world, appears in the manuscripts of Indian sages who lived as long as five to six thousand years ago. So, a hundred years ago, physicists said there must be something called the ether. The ether is some kind of fluid. Ether, an element, a material, a substance, the fundamental building block, known to the ancient sages yet incomprehensible to modern scholars. Ether was even in Mendeleev's periodic table. The Russian chemist called it Newtonian and believed that the ether particles are millions of times lighter than the atoms of all other elements. Ether has amazing characteristics. It's elastic. The whole cosmic environment, the entire universe, is filled with ether. And, as a matter of fact, ether is the foundation of our world. However, ether suddenly mysteriously disappeared from the periodic table. In comes Einstein, who says, not so fast, not so fast. We still don't understand that the universe is the eternal engine, the creation of which humanity has dreamed for as long as it has existed. It will regenerate from the ashes again and again like a phoenix, and the newly born universe will populate itself with those who will cherish it. And this will also be us, but future generations, new people in endless worlds.